Bam! Delight Adopter! Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to a new XRP video. And yesterday, XRP had a big, 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 big dump. Uh, it even closed in the red, 3% down, 3 or 4% down, it closed in the red. But it is still holding certain very key important levels. And as long as it's doing that, as long as it's not showing extreme bearishness, we bullish. We bullish. So I'm gonna explain how this is gonna play out, uh, what actually happened with the weekly close and stuff like that. Now, before we start there, down below there is a link in the description uh, for the daily altcoins video we do daily altcoins video every single day watch what's going on good watch coins are bad because you know alt season is going to kick in soon so you know we gotta know what's gonna pump you know we don't want to jump on the 50 percent pumps you know and you know fall more in so we don't know before the pump hap happens what's gonna happen that said if that's something for you check the link down below that said that said let's see what happens here so you will see here that yesterday this is uh, this candle up here. That's the yesterday's candle. And yesterday we are all the way down 10%. But uh, we pulled back. We pulled back and we ended at 3.59% in in red down there. And you might be thinking, man, that's bad. Technically, you know, 3.5% is not big much. Like especially if you zoom out, we're gonna zoom out. It's not a big problem. But uh, you know, the 10% drops down are not that uncommon. They happen all the time. Here, like five days ago, we had 11% drop during the day. 5% uh, before that we had 10% 9.8% drops so these big drops do, they do happen it's a normal movement like um, even, even uh, over here we had even to the upside a 10% move at one point yeah, right even up here where we had 9% drop we had a move towards the upside at 8% so it went up 8% and then went down 9% and closed something like 0.76% uh, in, uh, in, in red so you know these big moves towards the upside and downside do not matter in the, uh, in the long term if you for example remove the wicks you'll see actually the legit move and you'll see that uh, you know up here like it, it, it's, it's not kind of doing anything down here it's kind of not doing anything like you guys these these moves slow moves up and down and stuff like that they do happen but you, you see these moving averages especially especially this yellow line and this uh and this uh this uh, red line this red line that's the 20 moving average and this is the 50 moving 50 and 10 moving average really really important for the for the for the price on the daily chart and overseas you'll also see that the 50 moving average was acting as a support for a uh, resistance for a long time and a support right now let me bring that back to vix up here so i can show you better that here you see this you see this uh uh, yellow line you see these wicks down here how it was given us support and then we broke the support you know so that's just says that this line is important you see here how we are hitting it uh, on the upside with the wicks right and then eventually broke it. this is the resistance so it was a 50 moving average has been used as a resistance up here and then we broke it. and on this part up here is right now we are using as support so you can be above it you can be below it but uh, you know the thing is you you know you try to stay above certain uh, levels now up here up here it was hard to stay above it because we didn't have anything any moving averages below us we didn't have any good support below us we're still being on the downside but right now not only do we have 50 moving average we also got uh, you know support of the 20 moving average up here that's supporting us that actually might you know push us towards the upside so this does although we had you know red close yesterday right now it's still in red minus one percent it does not look that bad it does not look bad that that bad uh weekly Yesterday we said the weekly close, you know, best case scenario, the absolutely best case scenario is closing about 114.14 up here above these levels. Unfortunately, we didn't do that uh, and we actually, you know, uh, closed below down here at 1.09. And right now we are even going a little bit more down. But if you look at the weekly time frame up here, if you look at a weekly time frame up here, but just let me go a little bit back down here. If you look at a weekly time frame, the moving averages on the weekly time frame, you'll see right now. That what we are doing actually is waiting for this 20 moving average to push us up okay we are waiting for the 20 moving average to push this up now whether the, uh, this is gonna you know uh, come fast or not this can actually jump any time now above the moving averages and continue how this actually gonna play out that's hard thing to say the only thing we can say is uh, whether we are bullish or bearish and as long as you are in triangle you cannot be bearish you cannot be uh, the triangles are that uh, triangle you got to support here so uh, you know it's gonna be do you know something terrible has to happen to drop out of the triangle something terrible has to happen to drop on triangle so um, doesn't matter how we do this like or, or you know how high or how low we go it really doesn't matter until you are exit the triangle and as long as you are not out of the triangle either to the upside or to the downside you cannot be bearish nor bullish so we are just like 
kind of sitting in the middle of nowhere. Now this 14.14 is no, no longer valid because that was the weekly close that we are looking at the break. This 16.06 is still important level to break uh, because this is the daily high up here. So that might uh, come anytime now. So if you see uh, what, I'm, what I'm thinking might happen right now is that this 10 and 20 will hold eventually. We will start moving towards the upside eventually, you know, in a couple of days we will break 116 uh, up here and uh, you know, that'd be bullish enough to actually break to the upside. But uh, will that actually happen that way or not i don't know the thing is right now is the bitcoin season yesterday i don't know if you noticed bitcoin did a big big move big bullish move so right now we are thinking this is uh this is gonna go further up to 70 80 000 and so forth so forth and altcoin season will kick in now when altcoin season kicks in it's not like people think that all altcoins at the same time you know go up First, there are a couple of altcoins go, starts going up, then there are other batch of altcoins, and so forth, so forth, so forth. Like th th there are ranges uh, of which altcoins goes up. So whether you know uh, XRP is gonna be one of the first, one of the middle ones, or one of the last ones to break out, we do not know that. We do not know that. But whatever happens, once they start breaking out, you can bet your sweet botox that eventually eventually xrp will also break out and go up but will it be one of the first or not that we don't know right now it doesn't look like um, that right now it looks like you're just you know standing here in the middle of the nowhere in the middle you know just uh, ranging here waiting for something i don't know what's waiting for maybe maybe to waiting for you know the sec news or something like that that's gonna come out and say yeah the, the ripple won the the lawsuit and stuff like that will settle down or something like that and then we bless to the moon but right now right now we, we kind of in the middle of no nowhere so you know maybe tomorrow it's gonna be a better day maybe tomorrow it's gonna be a little more greener day but right now it's just just kind of in the middle of nowhere do come back tomorrow subscribe to the channel you know notification button and everything hit the like button on the way out uh, so you can catch the uh tomorrow's video and check out the link down below daily altcoins video every single day we do altcoins so if you know something better than xrp right now check the altcoins video see ya guys bye bye